What's going on guys? I'm Renegade. It's 2021. It's been off to a rough start already, hasn't it? The rough, weird start. Ugh. Let's leave the politics and the negative and everything out of just out of it all. Because I don't feel like dealing with that anymore. You know. We could go on a long tangent about what happened at the Capitol building the other day, but I just don't feel like that. I'd rather we play with some rambunctious kitties. <laughs> He's getting big already. And very rambunctious. We're looking at a brand new year. So the question is, what are we going to do in 2021? Well, as you guys already saw, Stephanie, my girlfriend, got a new car. She got a 91 Volvo 245. Uh, just like mine, but it's blue and it needs a little more work than mine does. And it's basically stock, except for the, uh, the larger sway bars. Well, <clears throat> obviously we're gonna be working on that. It's actually kind of cool to point out. Orion here has a bell and he's been chasing it around the room and dragging it around the room and that's what that noise is. Of course he's laying on Steph's purse. Stephanie's been staying here quite a lot and she's been living out of her duffel bag or suitcase whatever you want to call that. She's actually somewhere else in the house right now. We've been talking about working on Stephanie's car and things that we're going to do to it. Now, obviously, it needs some normal repairs. i got to fix the exhaust. i got to do the motor mounts because they're shot. Uh, I just did the uh, radiator not that long ago. We're talking about more modifications, things that we can upgrade and make better. So that's really exciting. It's, it's actually kind of cool. Like One of the projects that I'm going to be doing very soon is we're going to upgrade her suspension. And we're going to upgrade the suspension in a lot of ways that I did with my car. But I wasn't doing a YouTube thing at the time. So I never recorded how to upgrade your suspension the same way that, I'm going to, that I already did. So what's cool is I'm actually going to get to show you guys now what I did on my car. And what those projects were like. But I get to kind of start from scratch with Stephanie's car. Now obviously... It's her car, so what she chooses ends up being what we do. So, like, one of the things that we're talking about doing is that suspension upgrade, which should be possibly next week video. But we're going to upgrade her suspension for less than $20. That's going to have a heck of a big effect to the car. So, if you are interested in things like that, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video, because it's going to be cool. And it should be helpful for you guys. And hopefully, maybe, possibly, I will be able to demystify some of the things that go into performance cars. So obviously that's one of the big plans on the docket for 2021 is working on Stephanie's Volvo and getting it to be a little better, a little more comfortable, running a little smoother. I, of course, still have projects for my car, my 87 245. You know, uh, last year, the end of last year, you guys saw me paint it black. Well, that was a big project. Well, I got another big project. I've hinted at it a couple of times, but, and I'm not going to let you know what it is now. I want to build a little more suspense. But I got a big project coming up. It's been something in the works for like 10 years. Uh, I can't wait to actually do it and get it done. And it should be really damn cool. Other thing that I'm thinking about is I do currently own three motorcycles. I've got my 82 Maxim that I'm rebuilding into a cafe racer. I've got my 93 XJ600 and I've got my 2006 R6. Well, the R6 needs to be worked on. I need to get that done. I need to get it running. I need to do some mods on it. I need to get riding on it. 
Maybe not in that order. But I gotta get that done. I need to, to get the R6 running because I can't wait to ride it and get used to riding it and really sink my teeth into that one. Obviously, I've still got the XJ600, which is a great bike. I love that bike. What am I gonna do with it moving forward? I'm not entirely sure. I got a couple ideas for things that I'd like to do to it, but I don't know if I will or not. So some of the plans on that kind of, they're bouncing around in my head, but they just haven't, I haven't decided on them yet. If that's something that intrigues you guys and you want to see me do some more stuff on the XJ600, please let me know. Besides the basic riding it, you know. Uh, I do know right now it's got some bad carb boots. The carb boots need to be replaced. I have them. I just have to actually put them on now. That's kind of an involved process. Again, if you're hearing the noises coming from this room and you're wondering what they are, it's the cats. Orion is going cuckoo. I wish I had even just like a tenth of the energy that this cat has. Be so happy. So very soon I'm going to do that. I got to switch out the car boot so that the bike actually runs again. Uh, right now it's not really running well just because it's got a massive vacuum leak. So we're going to get into that, get that fixed up so then the bike runs again. Past that, I'm not sure what we're going to do with it. I got a couple ideas, like I said, but I'm not sure yet. So if you're interested, you want to see something about that, let me know. Obviously the big one is I got the day two Maxim that I'm building to be a cafe racer. And I started working on it, seems like a long time ago now because it was. Um, and it kind of fell off the wayside because I had so many other things going on that I needed to do, that I wanted to do. This year, I got to get back to it. Right now it's not running. I think it's the engine. I think when I rebuilt the engine, I might have put it out of time. So I'm gonna have to go back into the into the motor, put it back in time, make sure everything's synced up properly, and get it back to running. I can't wait. This bike has not run in ages. I can't wait to get it running again, and then we can finish the body. Yeah, you know, I've got a design that I already did, but now as time goes on, I'm kind of contemplating changing that. I'm always contemplating changing things. There's something wrong with my brain. But we'll get into it. We'll figure it out. But at bare minimum, even if I don't change the body at all, I got to get the bike running. I got to wire it up. I got some accessories and some fun stuff I want to put on the bike. I got to paint it. I gotta make sure it runs properly, rides properly, stops properly, not in that order, and get it all finished. And I got all these cool ideas for it that I think will be really awesome, but I gotta do it. But 2021, by the end of this year, I am finishing that Maxim. I'm getting it back on the road. I'm gonna take it for a nice long ride. In terms of vehicles, there's a chance, and it's only a chance right now, but there's a chance that I'm going to be taking on a really cool project. Uh, I'm really hoping so because it's going to be something that will be really cool and I really want to show you guys. And if I get the chance to do it, it'll be... I don't even know the proper words to say, to like to put it. <clears throat> But there's a chance that there might be another car coming to the channel. Like I said, it's only a chance right now. It's not a guarantee. But there's a chance. And if it does, uh, it'll be kind of a job that I'm taking on with the goal of getting the car back to its former glory. Um, and it's going to be something older than I've ever worked on before. And I think it'll be really damn awesome. I'm really hoping it... it works out but we're gonna have to see um so stay tuned i will update you guys on that as the time comes 
In terms of other things, right now there's a lot of stuff up in the air. There's a lot of stuff I would love to do. I'd love to do another big motorcycle trip. Um, in the past, a couple of years ago, I rode down to Washington DC on the motorcycle and I spent time down there. And I did some vlogging here and there, but I didn't really do a whole lot. I'd love to do that again, but I'd love to actually make it like a video series of the trip with the motorcycle. Obviously, a lot of that depends on COVID and what's happening with that, because right now I can't leave the state. A lot of that depends on money, because right now I don't have an income. I got to try and get a job and have an income, because right now it's just, I got nothing. I'll take this time to say if you want to support, if you want to help this channel and help be part of all the projects for 2021, all the grand plans, do me a favor, link right there, coffee.com. Feel free to hop on there, buy me a coffee, it's a couple bucks. Um, you can donate as much as you want, obviously, but it's a couple bucks, the equivalent of buying a coffee and it goes to supporting the channel and everything from that site goes into the channel. It doesn't go into my pocket or anything, it just goes into the projects. Uh, and you get a free download too for a phone background, something that I actually created and made and you know hand painted and there's a digital version of it that you guys can download for a background for your phone if you're so inclined. A little thank you for me to, to you guys. I'm also hoping as time goes on and this channel kind of builds a little more, I mean we've seen some some nice growth over the course of 2020 so I'm hoping we continue that trend through 2021. Um, I'm hoping as the channel grows, I'll be able to do more cool things like that. Maybe we'll see about having some merch down the road if people are interested. You know, I mean, everything is obviously dependent on people being interested. I'm not going to create merch if nobody wants it. If there's not a desire for it, I'm not going to bother because why? If you guys are interested in that, again, please. Let me know down in the comments. Even if you're just interested in like, hey, if you did merch, like what would you do? So yeah, it's a lot of things up in the air. But I got a lot of big plans. You know, as of right now for this channel for 2021, I know I'll be working on my car. I know I'm gonna be working on Stephanie's car. I know I'm gonna be working on the R6. I know I'm going to be working on the Maxim and finishing it this year. Finishing it. I need to get that bike done this year. But I got a lot of cool ideas of things that I want to do. Like I said, there's a chance of the opportunity with that other car, which will be really cool if I can do it. There might even be another project car that might be down the line. Again, it's one of those cases of it's... It's going to be a surprise to you guys if it happens, but at the same time, it's not a hidden car. We'll see. There's a lot of cool stuff, and there's a lot of stuff I want to do. Just have to see if it's actually going to happen. There's a lot of things I want to do for my personal life over 2021 that I'm going to be trying to, to work on as well. There's a lot of improvements I want to make to myself. I don't know how much of that I'm going to get into on the channel. Maybe I'll touch on it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. You guys tell me. You want to see more about life on this channel? Or you want me to stick to cars and motorcycles? You know. There's a lot of YouTubers that will... They stick to a niche market. And they just want to do what they want to do in that niche market. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But there's also a lot of YouTubers that like will just... Do whatever they want to do. Now, ultimately, I mean, look at my name. Doesn't it kind of give you a hint as to what I'm going to do? Ultimately, whatever I want to do. But ultimately, I want this to be more of a community. So as we press on through 2021, uh, if you guys have suggestions, please let me know. Leave them down in the comment section. Reach out to me on Instagram or on Twitter. I'm going to try and be better about using them. You know, if you got ideas or questions, let me know. We can get into a discussion. Maybe I'll do a video on it. I know um, one of my subscribers just recently and a fan over on, uh, or follower, whatever you want to 
call it over there, on Instagram actually messaged me asking about the strut bar that I made for my car and how to go about doing it. Well, a video on that will be coming soon. You know, he and I chatted briefly over on Instagram. Now the video will be coming out soon. There is a cause and effect type thing. Like I said, I want this to be more of a community than me just up on my soapbox talking to you guys. And I really want to work on that through 2021. I really want this to be more of a community. I'd love to do maybe some collaborations. Whether it be you guys have an idea and you pitch it to me and yeah, I can see if that can work. Or who knows, maybe down the road we can actually see about doing some actual collaborations with other YouTubers. That'd be cool. Or even who's just a, a fan, you know, who knows. But it's more of the whole grand plans of 2021. Thought it'd be a good year. 2020 wasn't so good. There were a lot of bad things that happened in 2020. There's some good stuff, obviously, lots of good stuff, but there were also some bad stuff. And in my personal life, there was a lot of stuff I did or didn't do that I wasn't happy about. And so this year, I want to work on that. I want to try and do those things that I wanted to do and I didn't do. And certain things that I want to get better at and do better and be better. What about you guys? If you got any big plans for 2021, if you got any things you want to see, either in your personal life, on my channel, you know, leave it down in the comments section. Let's start a discussion. I love hearing from you guys. I always reply to your comments. Uh, so please let me know down in the comment section. Uh, this is going to be it for today. As like I said, we got some uh, some work happening on Steph's car coming up soon. Uh, got a cool project, like I said. In the coming week, it should be a major performance suspension upgrade, DIY style, for less than 20 bucks. That'll be real cool. Until next time, guys, y'all keep rocking and rolling. I'm going to keep taking care of business and dealing with wild kitties. He has so much energy. Look at him. Look at how much energy.